Okay, what we're going to be discussing today is the new MP4 screen touch screen player, that is, with this new and improved firmware, software. Okay, so what we have here up top, we have the speaker. At the bottom, we have some buttons. You don't have to use them, but there are the menu button. You can lower the volume with the minus button or raise the volume with the plus button here. On the side, we have a reset button. Up and on the back, we have the camera. Up top we have our 3.5 standard headphone port or jack. Up top we have the power here and the USB port. To turn the unit on, you just pull the power button to the right side. One or two seconds, let it go. And we see the menu coming up. Okay, on the menu, the main menu, we have the music, the video, photo, recorder, explore system, applications, game, ebook, capture, record, radio, calibrate, calculator, calendar, and PC camera. So let's go into these one by one. If we were to go into music, okay, what we have here in the upper left hand corner, let me turn that volume down. In the upper left hand corner we have the date, the time, the battery indicator in the upper right. We have 12 tracks on here. This is track 1 playing of 12. We have here, we can do an intro of the songs playing. It'll play about 10 seconds and go on to the next song, 10 seconds and then the next. Uh, we can just go th straight through the song as well. We can shuffle the songs. We have a equalizer equalizer here. If we we could toggle through this to get to different sounds. Each time we press it, it goes to a different uh, setting. Okay. And we have here the artist, the album, the title of the song. Uh, here we have time of the song being played so far. Here's the total time of the song. We have, we can pause the song or continue to play it. We can go to the next track, the previous track. We have the desktop. Uh, we have the album settings here. Uh, if we were to press it, it's showing you the al album cover associated with this song. Uh, the song, the artist, the special, the genre, the age, so on and so forth. If we click back, It'll take us to the previous screen. If we click settings. Okay. And all this is dealing with some of the equalizer information. Or we can go to the actual equalizer here. We could change these settings if we wish. Okay. But we don't want to do that. So we're going to go back. If I want to add this uh, song to a playlist, I just click on add list. Or well, I choose add list. I tap it again to go into the list that I want to add it to. And I'm going to choose list number four. I tap it and then I click it again to choose it. And let me show you what happens here. Um, if I go back in here, you have five different lists you can add to. I just wanted to make you aware of that. So let's get back out of that. The tag refers to, if I tag this song, we're going to start playing it at 2 minutes 44 seconds approximately. The browser. Okay, we're in the main directory right now, which is the memory on this player right now. If I had a memory card in here, I could choose this right here to play from the memory card. All music is going to pull up all the music we have on the player. Let's go in here to ID3. Uh, we could look at the artist, the album, the genre, click on genre. Okay. So, and let me go back in the browser menu, the playlist. Let's go back to the playlist. Okay. If we go into number four, this is where I added this song bottoms up. Okay. And number three, I put a few songs also. So you can put your favorite songs in your playlist. 
you can uh, your music list number one for example you might have all R&B songs number two you might have all rap songs number three all country songs uh, you get the meaning okay in your tag list now we tag the song at a certain point this song right here we tagged at 2 minutes 42 seconds so if we didn't hear it all the first time listening to it we could start right back where we were okay I'm going to back up out of that. Okay. And I'm going to back up to show you one thing here. And each time we press this button, it's going to the previous song. Actually, let's go forward. Oh, we'll stay right here. This song right here, we put the lyrics on. So this is very fun. You can learn the lyrics as you sing along with the song okay and let's get out of here let's go back to the desktop and go into video video has some of the same settings we can play AVI videos flash videos RMVB is your real player let me just go into choose it tap it one more time continue uh, from where we were in the last uh, viewing I'm gonna answer no very clear picture very clear picture okay and it has some of the same settings this takes you back to the desktop volume we can pause it start it back some of the same things that you would find we marked it some of the same thing you would find with your uh, mp3s we have a video a bonus video that we give with this where we show you what each setting means uh, and we walk you through each of the settings whether it be the music the video the camera so on and so forth that's in the bonus video that you're going to get with the player okay so let's go back to the desktop okay of course you have your photo it comes up in tiles here we could choose these and look at them one by one um, or we could tap this screen we can set it to play in uh, timed intervals one through five seconds uh, if we time it to play it automatically um, we can go to the previous photo we can go to the next photo right here is your desktop we could choose this right here which I showed you that before we could choose whether we're gonna pull the information from a card or the main drive which the pictures are right now on the main drive if we choose this right here this is automatically set for two seconds it's gonna start playing two seconds it's gonna go to the next so on and so forth okay let's go back to the desktop okay here's your recorder okay we can record notes reminders what have you you can do any kind of recording the intro is going to play back the recording that you made the setting we can set this uh, as you can see for an mp3 or, or wave the wave files are just larger files but we'll get into that in the bonus video we can set the quality for high and the volume level as well um, okay let's go back to the desktop Okay, we have the game. I'm not going to go into the games, but I'm going to show you what's on here. Uh, go Bang Chinese. I think that's Chinese Checkers. Road and Mine. I think that's Lead Mine or something like that. The applications. We have Stop Watching a Notebook. Okay. And it works just like uh, as though you were texting on the phone or something. That's how that works okay let's get back to the desktop okay we have the ebook i'm um, sorry the system we're going to go into all these settings as you can see um, there's not just one we're going to go into all these settings on the bonus video i just wanted to show you what's there okay the explorer allows you to see everything that's on the uh, either card or on the player itself in the different directories here okay now we now have the ebook 
and this is a text ebook reader we don't have any in here right now we'll give you a resource where you can go and download free ebooks to put on here just to read them okay let's go back okay we have the capture here which is this is your camera really nice camera uh, not bad at all um, you know the way you get a good picture you have you have to have a good light source let me put something there okay see not a bad picture if I can get it on here but if you have a good light source you're gonna get a good picture and what we can do here let me see what happens we can, even though I'm moving we actually took a snapshot of that but anyway you have your different settings here on the bottom up top as well which we'll get into that in the bonus video you also have your record you can record okay uh, moving images or you know you could just capture you know things as they're going on you can have fun with this okay and let's go back to that desktop you also have your radio and the radio is a very very nice feature we're gonna plug something in you gotta have your headphones in or something else in in order to get sound from the radio so let's click on radio we got something plugged in here we'll get into what all this means up top we'll get into what the menu items are up top uh, in the bonus video as well as down on the bottom uh, you can also record directly from the radio we'll show you that in the bonus video but the sound is very very nice uh, it sounds just like you went and got something you bought in the store and put it on here uh, but the sound is very nice okay so let's go back to the main menu okay and you have here on the bottom you can set this up as a PC calendar uh, camera you have your calendar showing you what the current date is um, we go back to the desktop you have your calculator yeah you also have your calibration and the calibration is gonna actually uh, you just touch these and the calibration works in a way that it knows where you're touching on the screen so if you touch here it doesn't think you're touching way over here so you gotta calibrate them every now and then I haven't seen where you had to calibrate it uh, but just in case it's there but that is your new mp4 touchscreen player uh, remember if you buy our touchscreen player you get a bonus video with it uh, that shows you all the feature features and functions of it as well as we give you extra added bonuses of how you download where you go to download videos any video that you want just about uh, and apply those videos to your player we also give you uh, a bonus a huge bonus of where and how you get music to put on your player and this music um, you can get in about two to three seconds per song so it's a huge 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 bonus as well as some other things as well uh, we show you how to put lyrics on your player so on and so forth we got a huge bonus it is very much well worth your time to check it out